What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is David. So here in all of my long form video tutorials, I always recommend that you go with Namecheap as your domain name register simply because they provide low prices, free Whois protection, and I like to keep my services separate from any type of web host or website builder. With that said, Namecheap is not the only game in town. You actually have a lot of different options for domain name registrars. And in this video, I wanna compare Namecheap to Google domain names, so let's begin. Domain name prices. So which one has better prices, Namecheap or Google domain names? Now, both offer great prices on a wide variety of domain name extensions, and they both provide free Whois protection. So honestly, you can't really go wrong with using Namecheap or Google domain names. Now, in terms of price, there are a couple of different discrepancies depending on the extension. So you do need to do your research if you're looking for like an alternative domain name extension. But if you're like most people and you just want a top level domain name extension like .net, .com, .org, et cetera, the way it works is that Namecheap is going to provide you a lower introduction rate up front that you can lock in for 10 years into the future. Whereas with Google domain names, everything is a flat $12. So for example, if we take a look at Namecheap, you're going to notice that say a .com is $8.88 a year as their introduction rate. And then it renews at $12.98 uh, after that introduction rate. Whereas Google domain names, again, is just a flat $12 for .com, .net, .org. And so you have to just do your research. So if there's some type of specific .com that you really know that you want, I definitely would recommend just going with Namecheap and then locking that low rate in for five, 10 years into the future. Future. But if we take a look at an alternative domain name extension like .co, for example, at Namecheap, it's going to have a nice low introduction rate, and then it's going to renew at $25 a year or so, whereas at Google domain names, it's a flat $30 up front. So that's why you kind of need to do your research if you're looking for an alternative domain name extension. So anyways, that's the main difference between the two. If you're looking for a top level domain name extension like a .com, .net, .org, Namecheap, you can get a lower introduction rate and it renews at a slightly higher price after the introduction rate, whereas Google domain names tends to be, uh, has a much more flat rate for your domain name renewal price. Website builders. I love me some website builders for this YouTube channel. Now, this is kind of an odd comparison of Namecheap and Google domain names. Now, Namecheap, like most domain name registers, does provide their users a website builder. And to be honest, it's pretty mediocre. It's ideal for a maybe a business-oriented website that's like 10 to 20 pages in size. You can blog and you can start an e-commerce website, but compared to using, say, like WordPress and WooCommerce or Shopify, it really pales in comparison. It really is only ideal for like a business-oriented website, just some small website that's like 10, 20 pages in length. Namecheap also has a nice integration with SiteMaker, which is an independent website builder. So you can get your domain names at Namecheap and it just integrates really well and really easily with SiteMaker. By contrast, Google domain names doesn't really have a website builder built in. Now they do have ease of use integration with Google Sites and Blogger, but I wouldn't say that's a massive selling point because honestly, you can get your domain names at Namecheap and have it point to Google Sites or Blogger. It's not like you're restricted from using Google Sites or Blogger if you decide to not use Google domain names as your domain name register. So comparing these two domain name registers is just a little bit odd because Namecheap has a nice integration with SiteMaker. Google domain names has a nice integration with Google Sites and Blogger. Namecheap has their own mediocre proprietary website builder. And you can use SiteMaker with any domain name register and you can use Google domain names and blog with any domain name register. Let's talk about email. So both domain name registers allow you to set up a forward within your account completely for free. Now what that means is that you can set in Namecheap and Google domain names like hello at yourwebsite.com and then set it up so every time someone emails that email address, it gets sent to a free Gmail account, which you can then reply by setting up an alias, etc. I have another tutorial video on this channel about how to do that. But once you're ready to level up your email, uh, you have various different options with both Namecheap and Google domain names. Now, if you strictly need email hosting, you can't go wrong with Namecheap. They provide some of the lowest and most competitive prices around, and you're just paying for email hosting. By contrast, Google Domain Names has a nice integration with Google Workspace, which provides collaboration tools for small teams. So with Google Workspace, you do get email hosting, but you're paying for a wide variety of other services. So if you're not taking advantage of these other services, you are kind of wasting money. So if you're just looking for email hosting, you can't go wrong with Namecheap just because they provide just dedicated email hosting at a great rate. Whereas with Google domain names, you have to use Google Workspace and pay for a bunch of other tools that you may or may not use. But if you are a small team and you do need email hosting as well as various other collaboration tools, then Google Workspace is better. Web hosting. So there's not much to talk here. <laughs> Google domain names and Google in general 
doesn't provide any type of web hosting, whereas Namecheap does. Namecheap provides shared hosting, VPS, a dedicated server, reseller hosting, etc. And so I think people are surprised to find out that like Namecheap is not just a domain name registrar, they are also a web host. But they're kind of like the inverse of a web host, whereas like most web hosts like Bluehost, their main thing is hosting and then their secondary business is domain names. Namecheap is the opposite of that. So their primary thing is domain name registration and kind of their secondary business is web hosting. Anyways, when compared to Google domain names, there's no comparison because Google doesn't provide web hosting. And finally is the aftermarket. So Namecheap has their own built-in aftermarket, which I really love because if you buy your domain names through Namecheap, then it's just really easy to list your domain names within their marketplace, and then you can make money from domaining quickly and easily. Google domain names, however, doesn't have any type of built-in marketplace, so you always have to use some type of third-party marketplace if you want to buy and sell domain names with Google domain names. So again, it's not a huge deal breaker because if you're using like GoDaddy, Namecheap, Dynada, Google domain names, you have access to a wide variety of marketplaces. It's not like, a, like if you wanna have access to Namecheap's marketplace, you have to register through Namecheap. No, it doesn't work like that. You can list your domain name that you have registered anywhere else on any type of marketplace to buy and sell domain names. But again, that integration with Namecheap just is a slight selling point because it does make it easier to buy and sell domain names through Namecheap. All right, everyone, that's it for this video comparing Google domain names and Namecheap. Which one is better? Honestly, they're both great companies and they both offer a wide variety of services and they're just a little bit different from one another. So Namecheap is great because they provide web hosting, dedicated email hosting, domain name registration with some great low prices on a wide variety of top level domain name extensions. They have a nice built-in aftermarket. They also offer a website builder and ease of use integration with SiteMaker. Google domain names provides a nice flat rate for a wide variety of top level domain names, but they are a little bit more expensive for some alternative domain name extensions. They also provide ease of use integration with Blogger and Google Sites. Anyways, I'm starting to ramble, so I'll just leave it there. My name is David from websitecreatepro.com. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.